Hello and welcome back to Satisfactory, folks. If you are just tuning in, then we are about to jump into our new 1.0 save that's in the grass fields. Uh, we're sticking with the Transformers theme, but we have started over because we are getting a lot of crashes in our Devastator save, which is our main 1100 hour save that we've been trying to work on for the last few years. Uh, unfortunately, I just can't seem to sort out the problem. So I want to say a, a big thank you for the folks that are sticking with me here on Twitch. If you are uh, still along for the ride for the Twitch stream. It's been a little frustrating with some game crashes uh, and some performance issues and stuff like that. So hopefully we will get uh, none of that or at least less of that in the 1.0 save. Uh, so we're going to jump right back in and pick up where we left off, which I believe was working on the uh, space elevator. Oh, uh, cancel that. Yeah, I need to go in and change whatever my settings are here because my mouse is just lagging all over the place and I think it was the upscaling see I didn't have the Intel thing before I don't know Yeah, all of a sudden my mouse is not lagging anymore. So I, if your mouse is lagging, that's probably not a good sign. Let's load Cybertron. Too bad for the crashes, but I really do enjoy the early games, says Bali. Well, that's cool. Uh, MC Mira, hello, welcome in. And I'm very sorry, not Damien has subscribed to Tier 1 for the second month in a row. Um... And they said, I forgot about this. Well, Damien, that was like an hour ago. And I think I got distracted by uh, the crashes on the other save. So thank you very, very much. I really appreciate the support. Uh, but here is where we are. Uh, we are in the middle of tier, I want to say two uh, UI. Let's bring this down here. Game phase and corrupt my stone. Apply. Now, I realized yesterday that these were behind my camera, so let me just see if I can move that down. We'll choose one, and we'll see what's up. So we are currently... Yeah, I guess we'll select that one for now. And then what I can do is move the camera. Let's just go. See if I can get this down quickly without having to move it all over the place. Actually, you know what? I think I'll go down here. Sure. That looks about right. At least for now. Okay, so there is a milestone in the top right. We also have to build the space elevator, but we are currently waiting for parts. However, we are real close to the concrete and we should be good on the iron plates if there's any in here. I'm just storing everything in one crate right now. But yeah, it's just the concrete that we need. I might even have the limestone. Turns out I do not. Ah, that's what's going on. Hey, there's Zero. I sent you a DM, Zero. Did you get it? Why can't I not jump? Um, hello, game. All of a sudden, my spacebar is not working. Hello? Did jump get changed to a different key? Oh, 
Jump in space bar. This building is currently bound to craft, focus, search, and brick in another context. Cancel. Why is my... Why does my keyboard think space is something else? Um, let's load the game again. I am really done with the tech issues today. Yeah, now I can jump. Why was I not able to jump before? I don't know. I, as much as I love Satisfactory, I really feel like there is a bunch of bugs that are just really not great in the 1.0 release. It's not been frustration free, I guess is the best way to say it. So we just need a little bit more concrete and I guess one thing I could do is maybe incorporate the other limestone node that's over here. How are we doing for power? Not bad. Uh, Zero, I set aside the crash log from earlier. I can uh, I can send that to you via DM on Discord if you want. No, I missed. Sigh. Cool. Thanks, Zero. This semi-slug species seems to persist entirely through absorbing and storing energy from its surroundings. Studying this could provide new methods for improving fix-it production line efficiency. Research it in the MAM to establish classification and potential application. a miner. Oh, missing a portable miner. Uh, going for overclocking? No, I just thought I'd unlock that in the MAM since I was over there. Plus, it's going to make a noise. I think we just have to find more slugs, right? This semi-slug, now dubbed power slug, is early in its life cycle and has retained only part of its potential energy storage capacity, giving it its blue color. Power slugs are capable of extracting latent energy from their surroundings, including through a form of photosynthesis, and preserve it in their porous semi-crystalline shell over their lifetime. This explains why they rarely move after having found a suitable location. <laughs> In other words, we're explaining why we didn't animate them. <laughs> other than the texture. That's funny. Oh, portable miner. I guess I could have grabbed that one too. Probably shut that down afterwards. Probably just gonna put this into a bin over here.
this is going to give us is this impure as well it is impure off center but is what it is Storage bin. Oh, come on. Just needs power. I know the early game I underclocked to 50% when I have a Mark II Miner and put everything at 100%. No rebuilding and less power to use to start. Yeah. Yeah, that's my plan too. This is needing 45, but it's only going to give 30, and that's fine. How are the repairs going? Oh, you mean on Devastator? Not happening. We're just getting too many game crashes. It's frustrating. I can't really make any progress. Sometimes it's 10 minutes. Sometimes it's an hour. Sometimes it's five minutes after I come back from a break. So I can't get into like a creative flow. Like I can't seem to really, really do anything. Yeah, this is a new save. This is a new save. I don't know if I'm going to stick with the new save. I don't really, I don't have any desire at this stage to rebuild the Devastator. I'd have to come up with a new idea or something. Like I just, the thing that really drives me nuts is that if I can't save the Devastator save, then I also can't save the Megatron factory, unless I can copy paste the, the power factory into this save. So there's some things we could do, but it just gets complicated. I think the problem is just the principle of the thing. Like I really find it frustrating that you play the game in early access for four or five years and then you can't play your save on release day. That's, it doesn't feel good. I'm in a bit of a snarky mood too, just as a FYI. Ah, ba -ba 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 -ba. concrete. What I should do is figure out how big the space elevator is and put like a concrete platform down for it that we're not building it just on the grass. Where should we build it? Probably over there. A 
probably makes sense. So either over there or over here. I don't know that it's got enough room over here. That is chunky. Yeah, a lot more room over that way. DJ Crazy Gaming says, all good, I get it. I purposely stopped playing when I announced and started new. Yeah. Yeah, it's frustrating to be so excited for a game release and then have all the wind knocked out of your sails, right? And the thing is, it's not the gameplay. It's not the adjustments that they made. Like, it's not nodes. It's not different items being available. It's not 1.0 features that are screwing me up. It's something technical under hood that's causing game crashes. The Nookie, hello, welcome in. Okay, how big is the space elevator? Will the satisfactory website wiki tell me? Fifty-four by fifty-four. So fifteen by fifteen? Foundations? Yeah. That should be on the grid, right? No. Now, why did you not build on the grid? Like, why am I up higher? Is it a lower grid over here? Like, why are you snapping so low? Yeah, there's a drop. The grid drops. Or maybe it's just, oh yeah, okay. This is one, that's 11. Four more should do it. They're working on a lot of crash reports now. They mentioned it this morning in the dev stream, so hopefully they fix it and get back to it. Thanks very much, DZ. Yeah, I did. I missed the dev stream. I had other adulting things to do this morning. So that should be another 11. Another four. Man, I am just squeaking this in. fit over here. That's annoying. 
like we got to move it farther down that way. One thing I could do to save myself some resources is unlock um, concrete in the awesome shop because then I would need plates to build foundations. They said that the crashes are their major focus. That's good. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, six. This will give us some extra resources too for the biomass burners. Pave parking lot or pave paradise rather. And that should just line up right there. Except for the amount of concrete. So much for saving up concrete. That's right, I'd rather have it in a decent position for the time being. Oh look, more quartz. Hopefully, I can put this on top of uh, this platform without having to fill it in. That's my hope, anyway. Need more concrete. Don't need these though. Folks, if you're new to the channel, uh, then uh, don't forget to hit that follow button. We are trying to grow the channel and I know Twitch can be a little bit slow on the, uh, the notifications and people in my discord always get a heads up because I tag everyone in an announcement post when I go live so if you're interested in joining the discord you can check that out uh, there's a couple ways you can do a prime sub a tier one sub uh, which is 25% off actually this month uh, or you can just check out patreon.com slash Joel Duggan it is uh, just two dollars a month less than a cup of coffee less than even this cup of coffee well that's probably a lie Homemade coffee is usually cheaper than buying coffee at Starbucks. But point being, uh, I really appreciate the support of, of the community because it does allow me to stream as often as I do. Iron plate. 
plates. I think all of our plates are going in there. Yeah. The math on this is just not mathing. I don't know why the screws are being produced so fast. It's 40 screws a minute, but yet it's short on plates when the plates are being produced at 30 a minute, as far as I can tell. No, 20 per minute. Never mind. That was me remembering that wrong. Thanks for the lurk, DJ. I really appreciate it. More concrete. Trying to keep at least a couple of lanes open in, uh, in the build. So if I was to build a space ele elevator, will it let me... No. I like the new construction noise. I think it's cooler than what they had before. Maybe 15 by 15 was too much. I know it was only 54 by 54 meters and we gave ourselves an extra 6 meters on either side, but that seemed like it wasn't that big of a footprint. we're going to spend most of our time putting down concrete for the foundations rather than the actual uh, space elevator. Because now I need 500 limestone again. Maybe I should have just put this on the ground. Yeah, this does not this is not as big as the website says it is. Or you know what it is. That's a lie. I did the math wrong. These are eight wide, not four. I'm an idiot. So these are eight fifty four. It only needs to be seven by seven. Is that right? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Yeah, that's much better. Yep. I'm a moron. Joel does math. I thought it felt big. Mm. 
Mass Dismantle was one of the best things that they ever added to the game. I have to say. Two, three, four, five, six. And that still leaves us a lot closer to actually putting it down. Awesome. Make a round to the other. Yeah, the other bit. Maybe I should move that bin a little bit closer. Platforms of early satisfactory, just trying to get through to the next phase. I think we have to do smart plating is the big thing. So close. Uh, I need to drop off the leaves. wood. Thirteen left. I don't remember if it's one to one. I don't think it is. It might be three to one. More like four to one. There we go. I think we'll face it towards us this way. One thing that's really nice about that locking hologram feature is for really big builds like this too, you can sort of figure out where you want to put it. One, two, three, this would be the middle. Of course. One, two, three, four. So it's sort of the middle. It's hard because it's got such a weird base on it. It's in the middle that way. One, two, three. So this is the fourth one. That looks pretty central to me.
That's on the edge there. But it's over the edge there. I do that. It's in the middle. It's in the middle on this side that we found the sweet spot. Yeah, I'd say that's probably good. It's always such a cool thing to watch. We'd never had that thing up in the sky before, too. Obviously, I think people are not meant to know it's coming. Unfortunately, I had to turn down my factory sounds for the build noise. And so this doesn't have the same kind of ka-chunk that it should. Project assembly initialized. Congratulations, Pioneer. The space elevator will now automatically connect with the project assembly orbital platform. Project assembly is divided into phases, each of which require the delivery of project parts, such as smart plating, via the space elevator. Subsequent phases unlock access to new tiers with more advanced technologies to construct, automate, explore and exploit. It is time to be honest, this project is part of the Save the Day program, the largest united undertaking in human history, destined to save us all. Earth is in peril and only Fix-It pioneers offer hope for survival. Fix-It is counting on you. Humanity is counting on you. Do not let Fix-It down. So we're making iron plates there and we need to make rotors here. And then combine those into... Smart plating. Yeah, Ada really lays it on thick, hey? know if I have enough quartz to do the next phase on the MAM or not. Need 20. 40, really. And where is... Quartz is the Blade Runners. Just realized I might be shaking my camera a bit. I'm not sure if that shows up on the stream or not. I mean, my camera's pretty small. We're good for that. Weird that it lined up like that. I guess technically it's hitting the power pole. Smart plating. I guess I could have turned it the other way. Um, so this needs iron rods and screws. 
How many? This needs 100 screws per minute, and this needs 60. We are not producing that. We are doing 40. Time to get more iron nodes up and running, I would say. Resource sink. Can I do that yet? Certainly do the rods. Just the concrete, but that's going to take forever. Hard drives as well, yeah. So we can at least get it going inefficiently. This is not got power. I need rods. I think. We've only got the one doing rods. You're doing rods as well, and you're just storing. I think we're good for now. So we'll remove you, and we'll get you to go around the corner. Man, it's so cool to do straight build mode like that now. Like, that is super simple and easy. So how many rods is that coming out? 15? 10? Fifteen. Spaghetti mess. Well, it's organized. So we need 20, but we're not getting that. So now we just hook up the outputs. doesn't need to be a merger, it just needs to be two separate belts. Invalid belt shape. That, to me, is incorrect. some of those plates just to have so we've got two per minute and two per minute and we are currently making four and five but we are under production so probably only making two there and Three there. It's fine. 
Uh oh. Max consumption. We need another biomass burner. Well, that's going to be tricky. Normally, I would want to do this before I go on a break. Uh, what could I shut down? Let's shut down the concrete and the miners. And just see if I can squeak out a little bit of extra power. Take the concrete. And we'll run over to the other concrete maker. Actually, I could turn the copper off too. Actually, let's just do this. We don't have power switches yet, so you do that. Did that help us out? That might have. Production capacity. That was not even close to enough, I guess. All right, well, I'll take a break and I'll come back and I'll add another biomass burner. Give me about five or six minutes, folks. We'll be back to expand our power grid.
Well, it doesn't look like my transitions are choppy anymore either. That's good. Okay. We need to expand the power. And I would say I'm getting a little cramped on the inside here. So let's go this way. Now we have a splitter situation. We have to split into four now. That should work. And then from here, we just have to add another splitter. I would say probably about there. Nope, too close to that. I'm gonna have to move this tower. Thanks, Dan. Not going to be the prettiest, but that'll work. So this splits in half to there and there. That splits in half to there and there. I just have to add this to the network. And then we should probably redistribute the fuel. And we have 400, Didn't realize it went up in such crazy intervals. And 30 should be fine. One thirty. Is that wrong somehow? Oh, there we go. And that leaves four for us in our inventory for the chainsaw. Actually, maybe we'll take the extra four, or three there. Now we should be good. Just. Wow. So we should really think about expanding our power grade because we really can't do much more with these three. Yeah, these are 15 megawatts a piece. That's, that's 45. That's over half our grid or almost half our grid right there. So that is now the beginning of phase one, which is the 50 smart plating. So yeah, I think maybe the plan, coal soon, yeah. Coal is definitely soon. So 
So yes, I think the next thing should be maybe a better a better plan for our grid. I think we need to I think the next thing to do would be to add two more biomass burners, right? Then we could just add a split here. So let me get that tower down again. plates. At least the ladder is easier to grab onto. I remember when I was first playing this game and I could never grab the ladder. It was such a frustrating point for me. I don't know if this is going to be enough to get us through. We might have to go up to eight biomass burners. I'm definitely beelining for coal. That's that's one of the goals. So all we would do here is move this over to there, and, uh, over to here, and split three ways. And that would get looped over to there. This would stay right where it is uh, and get looped over to that one. So the only thing that would change would be this would output uh, this would end up being more like here. Yeah, that'll do it. So that's a pretty straightforward switch. Question is, do we wait until that's all done? Hmm. That's got 190 in it. That's just going to keep on going. All right. Let's make the switch now then. No, nope, did not mean to fall off. You cannot hold shift <laughs> like in Minecraft and not fall off the edge. And the question is, are we producing enough? So then the back end of this might have to be increased a bit. Ah, uh, wrong way. Oh, I caught myself. So this burns four per minute. We now have one, two, three, four, five, six, 24 per minute. It's making 60 per minute, okay. So as long as we have the bins going, 60 per minute, 300 biomass per minute, 
120. Oh, okay. Yeah. We're more than good. And we're all up and running again already. I didn't have to do anything. That puts us well above our max consumption. So now we are at 180 instead of hovering at 120, I think is where we were before. Yeah. Cool. I like it. This is just slow. I'm going to go put on... Reconnect the other stuff. And I think I also disconnected this somehow. Probably when I was rearranging things. It's funny how they give you these hotkeys at the beginning of the game. One for poles, two for power, three for your belts and four for power or belt poles. And I have absolutely maintained those hotkeys even in my late game. It's just you get used to them, right? Yeah, you just add to them totally. So we're about 25% of the way there. And is it operating at full capacity or half? 83, and that's good enough for me. Approaching on the the biomass or not the biomass the uh, the gas. So I think we need to go and expand. This is also probably not going to be even. No. Sorry. So we should probably go collect some more stuff. Let's go over this way because I don't think I've. Um, there might be more quartz or something else I could find up here. We can scan for quartz too. Sometimes there's quartz in like places like this near the nodes. Wood is definitely the better biomass uh, thing to get, that's for sure. Normally I try to save certain trees or be precious about stuff like this, but only when I consider like maybe some of the really large trees would I think, eh, maybe I don't want to cut that one down. And the chainsaw does have a mode now that you can um, select one thing at a time. You can hit R to switch to single mode.
This is just iron. Yeah, the, I know where the node is, and you're right, it's pretty far from here. Heal nature. Nice. Whoops. do us for a little while. Uh, it's an epic achievement, yeah. It is, it is indeed. The quartz is what we need. I know where the quartz node is. I also know that there's some mycelia that we could unlock in the ma'am, and there's a cave around here somewhere. And because we have the um, creatures on retaliate, this should be pretty painless. The fruit of this fungus like flora does not seem to show much potential for use. However, its mycelial network is worth further investigation. Research it in the MAM to establish classification and potential application. Hey, we found our first summer sloop for this save. Don't see any other quartz though. This is also nasty if you have the normal creature behavior on those are those are not fun the summer sloop was named after marie somerville co-founder of fix it and head of its r d department there are many theories about the origin of this shape and why this symbol mathematically resembling a mobius strip has found its way to both human and extraterrestrial culture Hmm. Thankfully, you don't need to know any of these theories to be a pioneer. Research it in the MAM to establish locally appropriate classification and application. Fun fact. The planet you are on was found and named during a planet spotting event Marie hosted named Marie's Awesome Scientific Search of the Avant-Garde Exoplanets. That was worded very strangely. Marie hosted named. Fun fact, the planet you are on was found and named during a planet spotting event Marie hosted called. See, I thought she said hosted named. But I guess, did she say hosted called or hosted named? Marie hosted called Marie's Awesome Scientific Search for the Avant-Garde Exoplanets. A lot of words. Walk right by without grabbing concrete. Silly. I could probably belt this in here now.
Oh yeah, the, the sense of humor is great. I agree, Dan. Halfway there. Summer sloop analysis completed. Summer sloops are somewhere between battery and conduit, harvesting energy from pockets of space with complete disregard for the rules of the space-time continuum and distributing it into its connected ecosystem. This energy, Loving energies harvest until the waves reach our shores. Consume. Similarities to the mm -hmm. hypothetical force of dark energy to potentially be one and the same. It can now be tracked by the object scanner. Cool, so we can find Summer Slip on our own now. Open up some mycelia tree. This is mostly fabric, I think. Oh. The talk. mycelial networks of these fungi possess unusually resilient hyphae, which show potential for making a strong but lightweight natural fabric. Additionally, it has similar medicinal and pest control applications to mycelia on Earth. 100 biomass. Let me just make that in here. And then maybe steal the rest from in here. Research completed. Fabric recipe unlocked. New mycelia research available. Parachute 10 plus cable, pocket dimension. I'm not really pushing too much for that. Uh, gas mask. Get that early too but not until you can get some coal, which I do know where some coal is. Cool. Uh, parachute, 10 fabric. I need, oh, I need biomass for the fabric. make 20 i feel like there was another what section that needed 10 rock giant thanks very much for the lurk appreciate it if you get a chance when you come back from the lurk let us know how you found the stream always fun to know where people are from uh mycelia cable parachutes Parachute unlocked. Fixit appreciates your willingness to descend rapidly to perform your duties, but damaging Fixit property is a breach of contract and will have unpleasant consequences. Improve descent efficiency by combining the forces of gravity and drag with a parachute. Basically, don't break the suit that we put you in. It sounds like I should put that back in here. Good. Don't need to carry around the fabric. Can I make a parachute now? I probably can over here. That requires a lot more fabric. Not right now.
Setting up one bin for everything was a smart idea. So much more organized than having run all the place. 35 out of 50. We only got 15 more. That's good. Another... Was it two per minute? Another less than 10 minutes? We should be good. Well, probably 10 per minute. Probably another 10 or 15 minutes, maybe. Oh, I can just turn this on. So that will unlock coal power, and then we'll have to figure out how to get coal. So there's a coal node over there, and this is just me knowing this from playing the game. There's a coal node, I think it's like right down here. However, up here, there's also some coal. And I think that's where I'm going to do the coal plant for this particular playthrough. Rock Giant says, I watched Pick's Survival Guide and from there listened to the Spawn Chunks. Oh, you're a Spawn Chunks listener. Awesome. Eventually had to see Westel for myself rather than just listen to you describe it. Finally watching your other streams when I'm looking for something relaxing. Well, that's a really nice compliment. I thank you very much, Rock Giant. That's that's very kind of you to say. Um, and thanks for letting me know that you're a Spawn Chunks listener. For, uh, for folks in the chat that may or may not know, I do the Spawn Chunks every Monday with Pixelrest. There's a brand new episode out right now. And uh, we talked about the new development cycle for Minecraft. So if you are a satisfactory and a Minecraft player, then might be a free podcast you might want to check out. It's available on YouTube and all of your favorite podcasting platforms. Okay. Now I'm just basically impatiently waiting for this. Zero, thanks very much. I'm glad you like the spawn chunks as well. So I guess I could go look for that that coal. It's a little ahead of time. I think it might be better as a first playthrough experience to wait until we can actually scan for it. I don't see a heck of a lot that I can tidy up here. There's maybe a couple of power poles that are kind of gross. This is all going to get dismantled anyway. rock garden. I don't think we have recipes for anything other than this cable and wire. Wire is the only thing we're not making automatically. I guess I could try that. We're just jamming on the wire. Hardcore. Oh, you know what? We might be able to get our um, not quite at 200 or 400. Get our last milestone for the awesome shop. Let's see if I can go get more concrete. There might be a hundred in here. I don't think it'll be that much. Close. 334. It is odd to be playing a, a playthrough with the, the creatures on retaliate or passive. Well, they're on retaliate. I shouldn't say they're, it's not or. It's one of the choices. I chose retaliate. Thought it was a good middle, uh, middle ground. Oh, there we go. There's our milestone. Milestone reached. You have been given access to the anti-waste effort for stress testing of materials on Exoplanet's bonus program, also known as Awesome. Your awesome input allows Fixit to comprehend our amazing universe more clearly. In appreciation of this, we have generously set up an internal, closed economy with exclusive rewards and currency. Directing parts of varying quantity and complexity into the awesome resource sink will grant Fixit coupons. 
These coupons can be redeemed in the awesome shop for highly desirable items such as new foundations, walls, factory attachments, cosmetics, parts, and more. Next time you have additional resources, just remember to go that extra kilometer. Go awesome. Hmm? We can put the awesome shop right here. It's almost as if I planned that. New awesome sink and new awesome shop. So the awesome sink is great for a couple of reasons. It will, um, can I not put, there we go. It will uh, allow us to sink any overflow and keep things going smoothly. Uh, but we can also get cosmetics, but also fun things like conveyor poles, wall poles, signs for organization and lights, different materials, walls and windows, architecture, all, all kinds of fun stuff. The things I miss. So I've, I've noticed that we haven't had any game crashes, which is great, but then I don't know what's different because like I'm playing the game with the same settings, so it's gotta be something to do with the Devastator save and some of the advanced rendering that's happening with hyper tubes or other things because, I mean, while it's not as complicated here, like visually I still have the same settings. The world is still just as big. There's just as many trees around, so I don't know. 43, getting real close. Rotors are the slow parts. Where are the rotors missing? They're missing screws. What if I just do this? Should have done that a while ago. Where would I build if I carry on? A really good question. I don't know if I'd want to do a big build. Like, I don't think that that's... I don't, at this point, want to invest that kind of time into a big build. So, I would probably do something similar to what Total Eclipse is doing, which is to build, like, smaller factories. Um, I renamed this save Cybertron. So, I, w I might just do, like, little builds that are Transformer-themed. I think the Transformer theme is fun. It gives me a good visual language to work with. Um, the game kind of lends itself to sci-fi stuff like that, so... Um, I would probably just do that. So I would probably stay here. Um, I think oil I would do, the blue crater. I just, I know the map so much better now. So, I don't know where I would build, like, my main base. You really can get just about everything you need, except for oil, here in the grass fields. Because there's Caterium, there's Quartz is up here somewhere. So, yeah, I don't know. The problem is, um, no, there's not much water. No, I would, um, I would move over to probably the crater for water. Oh, well, there's water up here. And we're not far from, like, where the Megatron build is, so. I know, I'm on the fence about copying over, a, like, the chunk of the Megatron build and bringing it over to, to another save. So every 30 seconds, I guess we're getting one. I do like the idea of building in the dune desert. I feel like I'm, an, I'm experienced in, enough of a player to build up there, but it's, um, it's just such a long way to go and everything is so far apart. And until you're like well powered, I don't know. Like if you had trains, I would definitely do something in the dune desert. Really, like, if you ask me what I want to do, I want to continue my Devastator save, right? But as someone mentioned in the chat earlier, the devs are working on the um, crashes. So, that's good. Oh. I can't get those back. Crap. I misclicked.
don't think I want to add them in right now. Last one. I'm going to shut it off after this. I was asking for newer players. Oh, newer players? I think the grass fields is actually a pretty solid spot. Although, really, the best spot right now, I think, for everybody is... Um, I shouldn't say everybody. For, for new players, I think... Um, where Devastator is. The, the rocky desert is the best. There's just so much stuff around. There's lots of wood. Lots of wood. If you don't mind cutting down the pretty trees. 50 smart plates as ordered. Seal the deal. Just realized I probably put this in the flight path Welcome of the Welcome to Manta. the Project Assembly Pioneer Progress Presentation. Congratulations, the Phase 1 project part shipment is now ready for delivery. On delivery, Phase 1 will be completed and the distribution platform will be constructed. After completion of Phase 1, the technologies of Tiers 3 and 4 will become available in the hub. Highlights are, automated power, steel production, personnel transportation, and many more. Completing Phase 2 of Project Assembly is your next main objective. New project parts will need to be produced and delivered to the space elevator as you have done previously. Continue to construct, automate, explore and exploit for a better fix-it future. Hmm. Fun. Away we go. I don't think I ever remember the red signal going up there. That's cool. Send her up, and I think we can actually see the construction. Yeah. Cool. That's massive. Really fun if you don't have your factory sounds turned down for streaming. Nice. Oh cool, the little pods going back and forth? That's fun. I like that. That would be a cool thing to be able to do in the game is like send goods back and forth via like hover, hover pod or something. Phase 1 of Project Assembly completed. This is only the beginning of Project Assembly, the first step towards saving the day. You have performed adequately so far. <laughs> Reminder, not only is Fix-It saving humanity, it is saving all of Earth, including kittens and puppies. It is statistically likely that you appreciate the continued existence of kittens and or puppies. Continue I do the enjoy for their sake. puppies anyway. Continue the work for Fix-It. It is time to start the work on phase two of project assembly. I like kitties too. I'm just allergic to cats. So I tend to have like a, a slight aversion to them. Some cats are really cute though. Smart plating again. So maybe we'll leave the smart plate going. Versatile framework, a thousand smart plating and automated wiring. Versatile framework and automated wiring. I don't remember what those cost. Hmm. Oh, do we have to, we have to unlock them in the um in the the HUD? The hub. No, you are not allowed in here. Beat it. 
These guys are buggy. I really wish they would just remove them or give us an option to remove them. It really is game... Like, it's immersion breaking for me. Okay. Uh, I don't have the 50 rotors, but we're building those up. I might have a chunk of rotors after this. My wife is allergic to two, says Zero, so we ended up with a cat with very little skin flakes. And voila, Nora has been living with us for three years. What kind of cat is it? Because don't get me wrong, I, I like I like cats. I find them fascinating, but I just I feel so miserable if I don't have any antihistamine around um, when I'm around them. All right, first thing I should do is save the game. Um, so that was phase one complete. Gives me the rotors? Not quite. Now we've got them. So that'll be the jump pads, and this is just the completionist in me wanting to finish off tier two. This is tier two completed. Actually, maybe I should look to see coal power. Ooh, I should spend it there. If I select a different milestone, do I get my stuff back from tier two? I think I do. Let's change the milestone to coal power. And... I think I did get my stuff back, yeah. Hundred and fifty plates and cable is wow. How long is that going to take? 30 per minute? Oh, actually, that's not too bad. She's a Siberian cat. I'll post a picture in Discord. Yeah, please do. There's a pets channel in my Discord. Uh, she has long hairs, but that doesn't seem to be the problem with a lot of allergy. No, yeah, you're right. It's the, it's the dander that's usually the problem. I think the time has come where we have to actually expand the iron network a bit because we're not producing enough things. Vehicles, base steel, and then tier four is blueprints, logistics, mark twos. Yep. 
So I'm going to hold off on the jump pads just because I really don't... I don't know. It's not giving us those back. That's annoying. That's too bad. That's too bad. Darkness, triple six. Thanks for the follow. Appreciate it. We can probably handcraft some of this cable. That is going to go a lot faster than 30 per minute. Sorry, it's not a pet's channel in Discord. It is a um, animal's channel. Same idea, though. Sometimes it's a little bit too bad that handcrafting is like the best solution. It's not the most entertaining. So that's just the 50 reinforced plates, but we need the screws for that. We are not storing screws. They're all being made and sent to rotors and, uh, and reinforced iron plates. Oh, the early game screw problem. What I should do is leave this no if I now if I turn it back on then it'll start making stuff. Say I could use it as storage, but that's fine. This won't quite get us there. I could probably brute force the last little bit of coal. I must have just moved the mouse by accident. Yeah, I'm more of a dog person. Um, even though, obviously, allergic to cats, I still think I prefer dogs in general. I'd really like to get an American bully. But the, uh, the building I live in doesn't allow pets. Well, it doesn't allow dogs. They allow cats. That's 132. So another 18. I just don't have any plates. Oh, we're so close. It's 
seven. I wonder if there's seven just kicking around over here. Six. <laughs> there were six. Damn it. Oh, that's funny. Give it to me. Oh, the timing sometimes in this game. Now we have coal access. Milestone reached. Power production can now be fully automated by burning coal, which has been added to the resource scanner. Water is also necessary to run the coal powered generator and will require a network of pipelines to be transported from a water source. To assist with locating and identifying water, Fixit has compiled this guide. Water is a somewhat reflective liquid and it may have thick vegetation growing nearby. To test if something is water, try touching it. If it is not solid and does not corrode your suit, it is probably water. <laughs> nice. If you still have an arm after touching the thing that you think is water, then it is probably water. Well played. Well, that means that we have unlocked tier 3.1. I'm going to save the game. Five hours and 23 minutes for tier 3.1 while streaming. That's not too bad. So we can now scan for coal. And as you'll see on the map, there'll be something down there, something over here, and then more up in here somewhere. Nope. Over there. Five of them over there. So that, I think, is where we're going to do the coal power. We'll probably bring the coal to the water and have the coal power plant just above uh, the water plant. That's where I think I would do it. Uh, previously, I have used this, but your bottleneck is the amount of water um, pumps, the amount of water extractors you can fit in that little lake. Uh, the other option, of course, is um, way over here with more water, but it's far from any coal. So the easiest thing to do is going to be to use the coal and the water that's in the same area and then run a power line down to us here, which will be... A long power line but at some point I don't know if it's in the awesome shop we get bigger power cables but I feel like that might be a tier thing Expanded power structures. So yeah, we gotta get into steel and then tier four point one, two, three, four, we get the big power towers. So it's not a big deal to run power poles, it just it's a little tedious, but other than that, it's not that big of a deal. So three point one. Not bad. I don't think we need the space elevator phase up there. I think we're going to be focusing on the other stuff for a while. Current milestone, current game phase. I think that's the one. Yeah, so then our current milestone, we'll have to choose which one we want to do. Anyway. I think, folks, that's where I need to wrap it up for today. So I'm going to look for another satisfactory player to send you all along to. I really appreciate you all hanging out and putting up with the crashes in the Devastator save. Uh, a little frustrating on that front, but hopefully Coffee Stain is working on it and uh, we can uh, continue it. Uh, for now, though, it's been educational to come back through and do 
a grass field to play through. Uh, I think this is the most organized I've ever been as far as pushing through to coal. I'd have to check the Metroplex saves to figure out like how long it took me to get to coal the first time around. Um, or rather the first, like the first time I restarted. And yeah, I think it was a lot faster this time just because I knew where not to waste time or energy or resources. So I think we're in much better shape. Um, if I continue to play this, it's kind of going to be as a backup. I will continue to try Devastator to see if I can get that working. So uh, we'll see what I can do. Uh, in the meantime, if you'd like to check out more content from me, I do a couple of free podcasts. I do the Spawn Trunks podcast all about Minecraft, and I do the Citadel Cafe about sci-fi and fantasy entertainment. Uh, right now we're focusing on Lord of the Rings, the Rings of Power. I hope to have another conversation this month about that. And then uh, Pixel Rifts is coming back on in October for the finale of season two of Rings of Power. Uh, you can get those wherever you find your favorite podcasts. Uh, there's a video podcast version of the Spawn Trunks on YouTube. Uh, all of my VODs are on YouTube under Joel Dog and VODs as well. I try to post them almost as fast as I can. So usually the next morning at 9 or the next morning uh, afternoon at 2 or, or 1 or 2 in the afternoon, that's usually when the VODs go up. Uh, if you want to join the community, uh, Tier 1 subs are 25% off this month, uh, as well as uh, Prime subs, of course, are obviously available to you if you have an Amazon Prime membership. And... There's also the Patreon page. That's patreon.com slash Joel Duggan. It's a huge part of how I'm able to stream because of awesome support from you folks. Uh, tier 1 and Prime subs, as well as a Patreon subscription, depending on which you prefer, they all lead to the same Discord. So we all hang out in between streams, talk nerdy, talk Lego, talk um, satisfactory. There's a number of satisfactory players in my community as well as Minecraft players. So if you uh, like that kind of thing, then I think you will find a home there. Thanks so much for hanging out, folks. Uh, let me just see who I can pass you along to real quick. I uh, need to know who's live. Probably Total Eclipse, or maybe we can send everybody back to Bits, who was so generous and sent us this, uh, a raid yesterday. Uh, Total. Total's live. Let's, uh, let's send everybody over to Total Eclipse. I will... Uh, Catch you all tomorrow, Wednesday. The plan is to stream at 1 o'clock Atlantic. That's UTC minus 4 hours. It will probably be satisfactory again. Given how things are going, it's going to be probably a trial of Devastator. And then it will be, again, more likely on this save. So uh, I'll see you then. Bye for now.